Let us bless the name of the Lord by saying amen. amen. Let us stand on our feet because tonight of any nights, Lord Jesus, we need to give God reverence. And we give God, go, go ahead, give Jesus a hand clap or the God that you serve a hand clap. So let me, be, let me be clear, this is serious business. And we stand on our feet because we are rising up to the nature of heaven. If you believe that, say amen. amen. Now let us bow our heads. Father God, in the name of the Jesus that I serve, Lord, I ask that you move in every person tonight. Lord, I ask that their spirit be a spirit of justice, be a spirit of love, be a spirit of equality. Lord, I remove the yoke of the devil that is trying to bring down our community. Father God, we serve you. We do not serve hell. We do not serve the enemy. We do not serve anybody but the blood of the second Adam, and that is Jesus Christ. Lord, move throughout the city of Brockton. Lord, shake those houses of racism. Shake the negativity that it may be removed from the midst of our children. Father God, we come here standing on solid foundation, believing in your power, believing in your justice, believing what had occurred at Calvary was the redemption of our lives. In the name of Christ, we pray. Those that believe in the redemption, please say amen. amen. At this time, the president um, has said that we're going to ask the mayor to come out, which is out of order. I want to motion that we go out of order. Is there a second? second. second. All those in favor? Amen. Aye. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to know that when I heard these comments, I immediately emailed Mayor Carpenter, and he immediately got back to me, and he said he would definitely be at the meeting tonight to address this issue. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Mayor Bill Carpenter. And please remember, there will be no Q&A afterwards. Thank you, unless he had deemed so. Well, thank you. Now, I was originally planning on stopping by tonight anyhow to get that little piece of business out of the way about a debate. So, um, the NAACP had offered us two potential dates for a mayoral debate, and uh, we are going to accept uh, the, the October 19th date. And it's my understanding that Lincoln Congregational has already committed to hosting on that date, so we'll work out the other small details, but I am uh, uh, very pleased to accept the NAACP's invitation to sponsor a mayoral debate. And I thought when uh, NAACP hosted a mayoral debate in the last campaign at Lincoln Congregational Church, I really thought it was a transitional time for our city for the city's oldest historically African-American church to be chosen to host a mayoral debate. And I thought that was a very important moment. And as, as long as I'm in these debates, I'm, I'm going to insist that this be one of them. So I'm, I'm looking forward and the folks will all work out the small details, but we're committed to that date with you. So, I was just as blindsided by the events today as anybody. I was made aware somewhere around the middle of the day uh, about the social media comment that had been posted uh, by Mr. Pina, uh, one of the five park commissioners that serve on our parks commission. I've had a lot of different emotions over the course of the afternoon and the evening. Um, the one that probably is the strongest is offended, because I think that statement was offensive. I don't think you have to be black to be offended by that statement. I think every single resident of the city should be, and I believe is, offended by that statement. And I'm offended by it. I am also shocked, I'm disturbed, I'm disappointed. I'm all of those things, uh, but I think offended more than anything. I believe... What was the comment? I don't know what it was. Okay, well, <laughs> you'll, you'll have to catch up. Yeah. Um, I believe that we've made an awful lot of progress in the last three and a half years since, since our administration came in. I, I believe that we've changed the tenor of the city. I believe that the atmosphere in City Hall is different than it was four years ago. I believe that all people feel much more welcome in City Hall than they did four, more, four years ago. Um, we stand on our record of uh, 
both hiring for city positions from the city's minority communities and appointing citizen members to volunteer boards. But many of these boards, positions of authority in city government, and more than half the folks I've appointed since I've been mayor have been from the city's minority communities, representation that communities in this city have never had. So with that as the work we've been working on for the last three and a half years, it's, it's hard to come up with the right adjectives. I am just distraught that one isolated incidence of ignorance can possibly set us back from all the good work that's been done. And so I think I, I'm asking you to not let us let it set us back. We can't allow one isolated incidence of ignorance set us back from the goals that we share, the work that we're doing together, the progress that we're making. And I will be the first to tell you that we still have a lot of work to do. I'm not telling you that everything's perfect. It isn't. I think particularly when we talk about the teaching faculty in our public schools, there's a lot of work to be done. And I'm committed to working on the school officials with it. Sometimes progress comes slower than we want it to, but it, it will come on that side. But we have accomplished a lot in the last, uh, in the last three and a half years. I'm proud of what we've accomplished. I think that if my career ends on November 7th and I look back at what we did during the four years, I think the progress we've made around inclusion and diversity would probably be the biggest thing I would be proud of looking back. I, I really do because I think we're changing the city. I really do believe it. Uh, and that's why it's so upsetting to me to see this happen today. It's so stupid, it's so backwards, it's just so, I'm distraught over it, I really am. And that's why I thought it was important that I come speak with you tonight in person, not send you an email, not give you a call on the phone, but come over and look you right in the eye and tell you how I feel. Um, so, to bring you up to date, I'm going to borrow my glasses for just a second here. Took us a little bit of time this afternoon because everybody gets mad, everybody wants immediate action, except the guy that's sitting in the CEO's chair has to make sure he doesn't screw it up. So we, you know, sat with the city attorneys for a little bit today to make sure uh, that when I issued something that it was done properly. And we did that. And so the, <clears throat> late this afternoon, I sent a letter to Mr. Pina electronically. Uh, and the letter says, Dear Mr. Pina, as public officials, we are held to a higher standard of conduct in both our personal and professional lives, including social media. The insensitive and racial remark posted by you on social media is unacceptable and offensive. It is even more disturbing coming from an individual occupying a position of public responsibility and trust. Therefore, I recommend that you voluntarily resign from your position as a commissioner on the Parks and Recreation Department. I sincerely hope that you will follow my recommendation prior to having this issue presented to City Council for your removal. The research we saw today was that I got In the legal research that we did this afternoon, I don't have the power to remove them. It rests with the city council. What the law says, it requires a two-thirds vote of the city council to remove someone with a current appointment. And so the intent of my letter was to let him know that we were proceeding in that direction, but that what I was trying to express is let's spare the city and the people and everyone the anguish of having to go through that and just give us the resignation and I will tell you that a little bit after six o'clock tonight, I did receive his resignation. <laughs> I, I feel terribly about this whole event. Um, I think that my final thought that I would share with you is that on behalf of the city, I would like to personally apologize to anyone that found that statement offensive as Amen. I did. Amen. Right? Amen. So, 
I've asked for his resignation, he's given it, I've apologized. I don't know what else I can do other than ask you to not let this deter us from the progress that we're making to continue to please work with me in our administration. The only way we make progress is working together. It's my challenge as the mayor to get all of the communities in this city working together to advance our city forward. And as upset as I know everyone is today, you know, please don't let this deter us from continuing in the right direction. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We call the mayor, and he actually rose to the occasion, so let's give him another hand. Action must take.